What's up, you two? Welcome back to Fresh Print Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash scouting report on Will Levis. If you're new here, please like and subscribe, and greatly appreciate it. Check out the channel with the playlist with other scouting reports. Uh, we got a lot coming out, and a lot already that already came out. Uh, basically, we give you pros and cons, pro comparison, team fits, and then wrap it up with draft projection. So, without further ado, let's get started on the Kentucky quarterback. He's 6'3, 232 pound, redshirt senior quarterback from Kentucky. Stats from he's had 5,876 passing yards, 64.9 completion percentage, 46 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, and 17 uh, rushing touchdowns. Awards from he was the Davey O'Brien watch list this season and Maxwell watch list. Obviously, this, he had a pretty disappointing season. Strength and weaknesses for Levis. Levis' arm talent is hard not to talk about. He can throw on all levels with consistency. He delivers with zip and velocity and minimal effort. He also plays with great arm strength, even on the run. Uh, he's great um, on with messed up plays and play action. He's near perfect in terms of his mechanic. Um, he's very smooth with everything he does. He plays with great footwork and arm angles. Um, he's a heavy runner as well and dangerous in the red zone when it comes to like QB powers. Um, but yeah, he's the most NFL. He's, I wouldn't say most NFL in this class, but I think he definitely is an NFL ready, uh, arm talented player. Cons from though, he's overly aggressive and has a poor decision making. For how great of a thrower he is, 25 interceptions is very concerning for him. He can't play hero ball at the next level if he wants to stay as an NFL starting quarterback. He can't, uh, you know, make these bad decisions. His pocket presence is not great as well. He scrambles instead of stepping up into the pocket and delivering a great pass, which he knows he can do. Instead, you see him scrambling, making plays outside, and then that can result in a lot of sacks. He creates uh, pressure on his own and gets sacked on his own. I think his offensive line wasn't amazing, but I think they weren't as bad as they were looked to be just because Levis uh, was making some bad decisions uh, in the pocket. Also, you have to also mention that he's going to be 24 when he's drafted. Josh Allen, amazing arm talent, heavy set QBs with physical traits and mechanics to be unique NFL level quarterbacks. Levis struggles uh, of being aggressive and creating pressure of his own reminds me of Josh Allen. They want to play hero ball. They want to be amazing. They want to make the big plays, but they got to be careful at that next level. Um, Levis could definitely got to be careful at that next level, but Josh Allen has, you know, dial, done a lot better, dialed down the interceptions and, um, you know, he does a great job delivering and getting the ball out quick. Um, Levis can become Allen, uh, if he has weapons that can create separation and he can get that ball out, but if he's sitting in that pocket, he's going to make, you know, he's going to feel anxious and he's going to, you know, make a bad decision and have uh, possibly be sacked or intercepted. Team Fitz, I'm going to have to go with the Colts. They keep picking up these veteran quarterbacks because they don't want, you know, a developmental type of QB that takes too long because they feel like, you know, they're contenders or they are close to be. Levis is an NFL-ready uh, quarterback coming from, you know, two years of playing in an NFL type of system at Kentucky. Levis can start early there, and I think um, he could be a big help, especially if they lean towards running the ball a little bit more in his first year just to, so he can test the waters and then later on, you know, become even better, especially with a uh, young receiving core that they have. I think that uh, Leaf can definitely excel at that next level. Just need some time and better decision making and being able to make those mistakes and uh, come back the next week and still be the starter and being able to fix them. Draft projection, I'm going to have to go with mid first round pick. Contending teams will like him just because, you know, he's NFL ready. I say teams like the Commanders, the Seahawks, the Buccaneers, the Broncos, even, you know, um, I think he's the third best quarterback. But, you know, he is the most NFL ready out of all of them. Uh, you know, you got Anthony Richardson, Hayden Hooker. You know, a lot of teams like those type of guys. Um, but I still have him as third just because. Um, He's going to be impactful early, and no matter if, you know, those guys are more talented, um, Levis has that arm talent that's undeniable at that next level. 
So that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video. Make sure you like and subscribe button greatly. Appreciate it. Check out the channel, like I said earlier. If that's all, thank you guys for watching and peace.